Hey, what's going on people? It's Chris here. I'm going to be letting the lads know about what happened when I came off minoxidil after being applying it for two years now, because I wanted to sort of see what happens once you finally come off. Like, do you suddenly lose all your gains? If you weren't familiar with my transformation video, then it's worth watching to see where I was from my baseline up to where I was now. So it is kind of scary to think you might lose it, but I think I'd been on for such a long time that it's unlikely I'd have any baby hairs on my face left. You know, the past year I've been applying it, it was basically to cement the progress I'd made, which was in the first 12 months where you make the most progress of all. So when I came off it, I didn't just stop straight away. I tapered off it like you would with any sort of drug. Minoxidil is still in your system like a drug. It's a different compound that your body is not used to. So I tapered off it across four weeks, a four week period. So week one, week one, I went from doing it just once per day, every day. Then I went to once per day every other day in week two. And then week three, I went once every three, four days. Was it three or four days? Yes, I ended up doing it twice in one week. And then week four, I did it just once in that week. So the idea, the sort of theory of taping or enough, I, I didn't even read if this was the best way, but it's the best way to come off any sort of drug. Like even things like caffeine, it's best to taper off slowly because if you go from here to here in just one go, then your body is gonna have a bit of a crash because it's suddenly like shit, we don't have this thing in our system anymore that we've been so used to. Whereas if you come down slowly over time, then your body slowly adjusts with it over time. So that was my theory sort of tapering off to give myself sort of the best chance of keeping everything. So after I slowly tapered off for four weeks, I then waited four weeks and took a few pictures as I was going during that time to see if I could measure the progress as well as looking in the mirror for myself. And really, I didn't notice any sort of loss. I, didn't, I wasn't shedding when I stopped. It's been a month now since I came off completely and two months since I started tapering off properly. And there wasn't any significant shedding that I noticed from the pictures. It doesn't seem like I've lost really any hairs. From now, it looks the same as it usually does when I shave. Each picture I took after I'd shaved as well, like I shaved the same way, same same length on my trimmer, it might look slightly different each time. It seems to grow back at the same rate. I didn't need to shave any more or any less than usual. Uh, you don't really bold like you do on your head, so I don't expect to lose them again. Like maybe if I was applying it to a balding part on my scalp and you know the hairs grew back, I might expect to suddenly lose those hairs again as a, as a part of the balding process, which you resume once you go off minoxidil. But this isn't balding, this is growing hairs that weren't able to grow that well before. There were no side effects or anything. I think tapering off is the key really for anything. I don't know if other people have side effects from suddenly stopping, but I had nothing worth noting, which was good. So if you're thinking about coming off minoxidil, then if you've been on for a significant amount of time, like between six months and a year, I'd say you're pretty safe because at that point, your, your baby hairs from the, the hair follicles that hadn't been able to grow first that are now growing, have all in all likelihood turned terminal. I would go up to a year just to be safe because there's no way of really telling from their appearance, from what I know that they're terminal or not. Sometimes they look a bit more thick and stronger, but it's not always easy to see. I would recommend tapering off like I did, just just purely to make sure as well. Your body slowly adjusts it, man. It makes the most sense from a scientific point of view. For the future, I can't see myself ever needing to use minoxidil again. I still got half a bottle in my cupboard, so I'll probably just save it and apply a bit to my temples every now and then because they are bolding a bit, which you can't see because I've got a hobo lockdown haircut right now. So onwards I go, minoxidil has been a blessing for me. I'm just so happy to be able to grow some full stubble and I will recommend it highly to other people. I'll see if I can update again, maybe three months, six months down the line, just to double check and make sure it's still as good as it ever is. But f for the most part, yeah, it's been great. That's the that's the end of my journey for my beard in that regard. And I'll continue to maintain it, oil it, nurture it, look after my beard better than I do my girlfriend. That's mostly it for me. Take care until next time.